Hey kids, nice to see you again. We're still continuing with the with the Christmas theme. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to wrap a present. Uh, we've teamed up with a, ho a local homeless shelter that um, shelters homeless women and um, young babies. So um, we thought it was a good cause, and so we've we've uh, bought um, bought some uh, some blankets and some uh, some onesies for them. So. And so I thought we'd just go ahead and uh, tie it all together and we wrap, wrap some presents and we're gonna go drop them off tomorrow. Uh, so before I show you how I did that, so here's, here's kind of my prize one that I did with my ribbon. So anyway, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but before we do that, I have a dad joke for you. So what's the best Christmas present? A broken drum, because you just can't beat it. Uh, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be wrapping uh, these different gifts here that we're gifting to uh, a local homeless shelter. Um, so, uh, you know, it's easy to wrap stuff that's already in a box like this. Pretty easy. It gets a little trickier when you start dealing with stuff that's soft like this, that bends and that sort of thing. But um, so you could just get a box and you put that in there and then we wrap the box. But I thought I'd at least show you in case, you know, you don't have access to a box. Another easy thing <laughs> too is to just get a gift bag for stuff like this, right? Uh, if it's easy in a, in a gift bag and you don't have to mess with, with wrapping it. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to wrap it or how I wrap it um, just in case you, you need to. So um, you'll need your wrapping paper, right? I got a few different kinds here. And then you'll need some tape, okay? And then you'll need, oops, and then you'll need a scissors. And um, I think it's classy to, to end up with a ribbon wrapped around it. it makes it really, um, makes it look like you know what you're doing when you, when you top it off with that. So, all right, so I'll just start with this one. Let me clear my table and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is the one with, uh, that has a box. It's uh, a box of little baby blankets. So what you want to do is you just kind of me measure it out like this um, to try to see what's going to come across. You want to come just a little bit more than halfway, okay? So I'm a little more than halfway because uh, we're going to come back around the other way here to come right, so it comes out about right in the middle, okay? So you can do this and just kind of follow your line here. And if you have a good pair of scissors, you can actually just hold the scissors and you don't actually have to cut it. You just slide it right along. Especially if you have good wrapping paper, it'll do this. Okay, that way you don't have a bunch of jagged cuts on this. Okay, nice. All right, so we'll set that aside. And this is a factory edge here too, right? So it'd be smart to put that on the top, right? Over the edge that you just cut. Um, and I don't think it really matters which way you put it in. You can put it in like this so that the other side is actually going to be the top. Okay, now that we did that. So we're going to put that, we'll put this over. Okay, a little more than halfway. Pull this guy over. And if you want, when you get really good at this, if you're concerned about it, or uh, you can try to make these flowers or the pattern match up when, you, when it folds over, but I don't normally worry about that. So, all right, so once we get... Once we get that where we want it, kind of centered in the middle, we just go ahead and take some tape. And I just use one piece of decent tape, and you want to get tape that's invisible, right? It, that way it disappears for you, because a lot of times they'll sell stuff that actually has a shiny uh, finish on it, and then it shows where the tape is. This kind of blends in, so it's real nice that way, okay? So now, with these sides, you just want to you fold this in like this, there's a couple ways you can do this. You could cut this beforehand. If you know kind of how much you need, you just don't want to leave yourself short, okay? So we're gonna fold that in like that. Fold that one in on the bottom like that, okay? And then you fold this guy in. So it's just kind of coming out there. And you fold that guy in. And there you go. So. Um, it's going to be pretty big, so we don't necessarily want to do that. So we're going to cut it down before we do this, okay? So one thing you could do, you could, if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and cut this here, fold that in, cut this side, fold it up, and you'd be good. 
Um, I think the better way to do it is probably to, to cut some off the edge first, and this gets a little bit tricky, but you could you want to have that come out nice and neat right down there. Okay, so we have to kind of guess what we want here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut cut some off here. I think that's going to come about, out about right. Ah, I probably need to cut off a little bit more. I'm right handed, so it makes it easier for me to spin it around. And this is all going to look real neat at the end when we fold it up, so you don't have to worry too much about how, if you got jagged cuts here, it'll look fine at the end. Okay, just set that off to the side. Now we can go ahead and fold this, like I was saying. Okay, so you fold that in, fold that in, fold this guy in. There you go. And then that tucks down like that. And then this guy just tucks up here like this. Okay? And you want this part facing down. We got the we got our seam here, right? We got our seam on the back. This is the top. So you want this part folding down, right? So this guy's in, this one's up here, like that, okay? Nice and clean. And really, you don't need to use a ton of tape. I mean, you can if you want to, but once you get good at this, you can get it down to where you just need that tape, this tape, and then one for the other. So I'll go ahead and finish up this other side, and I'll come back because we're going to put a, um, a ribbon on it to show you what that looks like, okay? Okay, so I'm just finishing this one up, and so what? Look at this. So I just went ahead and cut this first one, but then this one, I did this, and when I trimmed it, I trimmed it a little bit long. See that? So it's just a little bit, it's hanging over the top there. I think you can <laughs> see that. So it's kind of hanging up. All you gotta do is just trim that off, right? So just trim it off nice and clean. That's fine. I think most of the time, people are digging into their presents, so they're not terribly concerned about, about it, but it is nice to show up with a, something that's well wrapped, right? That looks nice. So if you can, you want to do it right. Okay, so here's my third piece of tape. And I'm good. So that's all I really need. You could tape this down if you want. I don't think you need to. And we're going to um, put that ribbon on too. So I'll, uh, I'll show you that here in just a second. And, and that'll kind of hold things together as well. All right, so for the ribbon, so if you look at my wrapping paper, it's red and gold. And so if you can, you know, try to pick something that actually matches that. So I've got red and I've got gold ribbon, okay? So what you want to do is we want to, let's see, how do I want to do this? Yeah, I want to turn it upside down and then I'm going to go like this. Uh, let's see. No, I don't turn it upside down. But yes, I do. <laughs> see, I have to rethink this. I don't do these. Uh, I don't put the ribbons on that often. But so you turn it upside down. Okay, you give yourself a nice chunk of ribbon out, so it's kind of wrapped around it, and then you just go around this and make a T, so it's coming back the other way. Okay. So now we can flip it back over to the front, and then we come back into here. And we get our, our ribbon where we want it on the front, okay? And then we're just going to tie, tie a knot here, okay? So we got that. Let's get this guy out here. And you want some hanging off, so it's actually a good thing, and I'll show you why. Okay? So basically, we're just going to get that together like that and just tie a knot. But you want it, you want it kind of tight, so it's nice to have help when you... If you if you have it but if not you just want to try to make sure that that stays nice and tight there you can with your own fingers okay so we just wrap it around and tie it off if you can do this <laughs> so okay so we tied it off there okay it's a little loose it would have been helpful to have somebody helping me but 
okay? So we just got these guys hanging off the end here. And let me snip this on. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a red one on too. So it'll stick in there with it. If I can find the end, that's always the first place to start. So we're just basically gonna cut a length that's gonna come here, okay? And we're gonna just cut that. And then we tie it again, okay? Like that. Okay, and then here's, here's what's pretty cool. I learned this from my, my sister-in-law when I lived with my brother and her um, back when in my younger days. So you just take a scissors, and I'm going to do one of these, and then I'm going to bring the camera up and actually point down so I can show you how to do this. But it's pretty cool. So this, this particular ribbon has uh, a shiny side and a dull side. So you want to go on the dull side. And so basically what you do is just take the scissors, and then you run it along the edge of that like this, voila, see that? See how it kind of curled up there? Uh, we'll do another one and then I'll bring the camera camera closer. So we can do this, we're just gonna run it along there, like that, kind of cool. I mean, you can leave them hanging out too, that looks good, but I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera and show you that. Okay, so this is, uh, see how those kind of curled up like that, nice and good? So let me go ahead and cut another, another strip here. And we'll just tie it off. I think it looks uh, classy if you just keep it with a few of these. If you go too much, then it's a, a little overkill and it can look a little tacky. Kind of like a nice painting, right? Once you get it where you want it, you want to kind of leave it alone. It's kind of fun to do these, though. So. Okay, so all we're going to do now... We just take the edge of the scissors like this, and you just put it here, like that, and you just pull it. Okay, just like that. And these, like I said, this looks fine too, where it's just kind of hanging out there. It's just kind of a classy little thing hanging out there, and all right, we're good on this one. I don't put a bow or a, a ribbon on everything, but I just thought I'd show you by um, doing this one for you. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the other ones. Okay, so these are the ones that are a little bit trickier. It's a, this is a bag of some onesies, and we actually got two different ones, and they're both just a little bit different. Um, but So I went ahead and cut the paper already. Um, and again, this makes it a little bit trickier because you don't have the square corners like you have, like on a shoe box or that box that I already wrapped. Um, but that's okay. You know, we'll, we'll make it work. So let's see here. What have we got? I already trimmed this. So we're going to go ahead and, and you could put tape here if you wanted to. Um, I don't know that it's necessary as long as you just go ahead and flip that other one over. And then we just take our tape and we put our piece of tape there. Okay, so now we're good. And you can do this a few different ways. Um, you can just, again, you know, it's not a box, it's not a square box, so it's never going to look perfect. So you can just do that. You can fold it over however you like. To finish the end okay so basically I'm just I'm folding this one over tucking it underneath again I have this is my bottom so this is going to be the top so we want to have this part facing here and then this part facing down okay so that's down along with my seam on the back right so it looks nice and clean on the top and so again you could trim this with the scissors or you can just take it and fold it over too and just go like that Okay, same thing the other side, kind of like how we closed up that, that box, kind of the same thing. Again, not perfect, but that's okay. Adds character, right? I'm all, I'm all about adding character to things, right? So, makes it special because it's from you. You wrapped it. You took the time to wrap it. So, there you go. And there we go. That's what that one looks like. Okay, nice and neat. And yeah, and then it won't won't come apart too. You just want to make sure you tape it good on the, on those three spots, and and you're good. I have another one of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that real quick, and then we'll wrap our last piece, and we'll wrap up. Ah.
dad joke. Okay, so for this last one, uh, kind of a similar thing. It's just some blankets, and they're kind of mushy, so they're a little more difficult to, to wrap, but uh, but it's still it'll still be good. Um, and this wrapping paper actually has a cool design on the inside or on the outside. Um, uh, and another thing, you know, when I was little, um, sometimes we would use the funny papers, is what we call them, the comics, to wrap presents. Um, and, you know, so you, in a pinch, you could use, you know, a paper garbage bag if you needed to. Um, you know, <laughs> if you're going for a birthday party or that sort of thing, but for Christmas you might want to try to pick up some cheap um, wrapping paper. And you can get wrapping paper, you know, after Christmas pretty cheap. You know, they blow that stuff out. So that's the good time to, to stock up on that, especially if you have a place to store it, you know. So you gotta, it's kind of like them. They're trying to get rid of that stuff so they don't have to store it. Kind of the same thing for you. If you got an attic or something, though, that you can throw it in, then, you know, you can get some pretty good bargains on that stuff. It's it's down to you know, like 90% off <laughs> sometimes trying, as they're trying to get rid of it. So, all right, so same thing again. We're just gonna bring it over, bring it over. And, and you want to kind of make sure this is nice and tight, right? You don't want it kind of saggy. You want to kind of tuck that in and then tuck this over and kind of, you know, try to pull out the slack so it comes out good and make sure your edges are nice so it's square. Okay, we take our tape, put our piece of tape on. Same thing all over again, just like we've done. Okay, we're just basically folding that, putting that at a, at a 45 degree angle. 45 degree angle. Same thing again, same thing again. Tuck that one down. Bite it a little bit if you have to. Uh, okay, and then pull that one up. We could trim a little off there. I think it's fine. It's not really coming over the top. Plus it's, it's soft. If this had square edges, that would really show, right? That would show that this is sticking over the top, but since it's soft, it doesn't matter. So you're good there. Same thing on the other side. You make it into a 45. 45 degree angle there, 45 degree angle. Same thing here and there. Tuck that down, tuck it up. Okay, and be smart about this. If you're, if you're wrapping a whole bunch of presents, you know, that you wanna label who they're for before you wrap 20 presents and go, uh-oh, uh, what was in that one? Um, so as you go along, you want to be writing the name tags on on each one, right? So, just common sense, but you know we've all done something something like that before. So you get kind of caught up in it, and oh, this is fun! I'm wrap, wrapping away, and you kind of uh, forget what you're doing. So anyway, so that's that one, and uh, so I have some name tags uh, somewhere. Let me grab those, and I'll just show you what that looks like. Another thing you can do um, is. You know, you'll always have leftover wrapping paper like this. We could, uh, especially for the, you know the, the present that, that matches this, you could just cut a piece of this off, right? And then you can either just tape it right on. So you could use it for this one too, since it's face down, and nobody's gonna see what's on the back side of it. And you could just write to whoever, right? And do it that way. Or, um, yeah, so for if we were gonna put this on, on that other one that matches this, we would just fold it over like a little book and then they'd open it and see to and from. So, okay, so that's a little hack there in case you don't have tags, but we have tags. So I'm gonna go find those and uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, so um, you can just buy these tags. And again, after Christmas sale, <laughs> you can buy these and these don't take up a whole lot of room. The wrapping paper, you know, you gotta find a place to stash it, but. These don't take up hardly any space, and you can find these for super cheap uh, when the when the season's over. So, again, as you go along, as you're wrapping them, or if you have a partner um, that's working with you, have them, you know, you're wrapping the presents, and they're writing who it's from uh, and who it's to, uh, so you can keep track of that. So. so, I wanted to include a little message from uh, from Misty, who runs the the homeless shelter um, that we're donating this to, and so. Um, Here's Misty. Hi, I'm Misty over at You Belong Community, and we're so thankful for this opportunity to partner with Rob over at Dad How Do I. It is such a great resource, not just for us, but for our residents too. 
And during this unpredictable season, we are so thankful that You Belong Community is still able to come alongside of women and children in need, along with many other shelters in Washington State. So from us to you, happy holidays and stay safe. All right, so I hope that was helpful to you. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've never wrapped a present before or if you maybe struggled with it when you've done it, um, those are some techniques that I've learned over the years that um, to make it, again, I'm all about trying to keep things simple. Uh, so hopefully that helps and kind of speeds up the process for you so you don't overthink it. Uh, you know, in a pinch, you can always just get a gift bag, <laughs> right? Uh, so, and probably that's what a lot of people do. But anyway, I think it's, it's nice to be able to wrap your own present because it, you know, it adds a little bit of character to it. Um, because it's from you. Uh, so I hope you're doing okay, you know, this time of year and it's been a tough year too. Uh, you know, and this can be a difficult time of year for a lot of people. So I sincerely care about you and I, you know, I do pray for you and hope that you're doing okay. Uh, so th thanks for watching and, uh, you know, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and look forward to seeing you again and God bless you.